Hey, beautiful people, it's Ricky. I'm back with another video. So in this video, you guys, I have Doris here and we're going to go over and figure out what we have to do to help her accomplish her goals. I know she says she want to get in her house as soon as possible or whenever that may be. And then also she wants to figure out how to get two major credit cards. So we're going to talk to Doris, figure out what we have to work on, and we're going to start working on that right away. So, hey, Doris, thank you so much for joining my podcast today. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. I taught her we look just alike, kind of, y'all, don't we? <laughs> we can be related. <laughs> we can definitely oh. be related. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. I was yeah. able to see over your credit report. So tell me a little bit about what you have tried in terms of, um, have you tried to get a house before? And, yeah. and you wanted the major credit cards. Have you tried to get any major credit cards yet? Yes, I have. And, um, well, of course, yeah, I got denied. Um, but I, denied like, you? I'm sorry. Who denied you? Uh, I tried to, the, the discover it. They were saying that if you didn't have like just really good credit, you can try those, one of those cards. Um, but I do have, a, in, I have a secure card with Navy, uh, Navy Federal. Okay, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're so, so I, you know, I have that and I'm doing good on that with my payments. I got my payments, you know, down uh, out of the utilization or whatever they say is supposed to be or uh, whatever. But I have it hasn't graduated yet. So okay. I, How long has I, it been? Uh, next month will be six months. Okay, give it some time. It's gonna graduate as long as you do what you need to do. It's gonna graduate. So, after, uh, but what I did is I um uh, I try to get the uh, account off of my uh by just sending in letters on my own, uh trying to get it deleted on my own myself. I did get like a couple uh of deletions off. Um, okay. I. But then I had some that came back and said they was verified. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay. So, uh, of course, after I listened to you and read and, uh, and a lot of things, it was always saying, don't give up, keep trying. Uh, you might not get the positive results that you, that you usually get the first time, but just keep trying and you'll get, you know, you eventually get it. So that's what I've been doing. So I, what I did is on the, the ones that I have uh, on three of them, I think I sent in a, like a second letter to say, okay, uh, can you provide proof of who verified it or, uh, you know, who did you speak to or basically who verified the information that is uh, on my account. And I haven't heard from them yet. So it hasn't, it hasn't been like two weeks. So oh, okay. I'm still, so yeah, I'm still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, that's what, that's the only thing I've been having, um, account with, but what happened was my husband at the time, he applied for a house. Okay. He got the house on his own income and everything. We live in, I live in Texas. We live in Texas. So okay. the realtor, uh, I mean the, the loan company that he got the house from, uh, I mean that he got the loan from. They were they told him that they didn't really need my information because he qualified on his own. Okay. So what happened was when we ended up getting all the way in, he did his earnest money, all of that, everything. We got down to the fixtures. Next thing I, I know, he said, "I know it." Next thing I know, he said. Uh, they want to get your information. And I was like, my information for what? He was saying, well, they are saying that um, they just want to make sure that you don't have any, you know, uh, big, I guess, big purchases on my credit. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, at the beginning, he told me all they needed was me to be able to sign at the e at the closing of the house. They didn't want go because I told them I was working on my credit. And next thing I know, boom. And next thing I know, I started getting things saying that such and such check my credit. They check my credit, check my credit. So 
the day, the next, the day before I was going to do the fixtures on the house, they told me, they told him he couldn't get it because of my, of my things on my credit report. Do you know what type of loan, like FHA, conventional, do you know what type of loan you were, he was going for? It wasn't an FHA, uh, well, it was, I think, well, it wasn't a conventional, I know that. Um, I think it was like the one that you have to get it, have to get a home in like the sub suburbs in the oh, suburbs. Like a no yeah. money down. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was one of those type of loans. But I'm I'm like, you know, when I when I put that out like on um you know, put it on there and say, Okay, you know, I, I just wanna get some opinions from other people if that was right or not for them to do, even though I didn't apply for the loan. It was all on him. And a lot of people were saying, well, we, you know, they're from Texas and they, the, the company they went through never asked for that information if their husband, because their husband applied for it and got it on their own. So they only had to sign at the closing, you know, just to be on the deed of the house. So I don't know what, you know, he was saying by staying in Texas, everything goes to supposed to go together as one. Yeah, but if he, I went through that yeah. in Wisconsin. I know. <laughs> yeah, but if he uh, if he got the loan on his own, why would I mean I don't know why would they would need my information. They'll want to. So if you're in a community property state and you want to make sure, look up those exact terms, community property, then they want to include your debts. Yeah. And if you have major debts, then they're not going to give him that loan because those collectors can still come after your husband because y'all married uh -huh. and yeah. put a lien on the property, which is what they don't want to happen. Right. 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 How long ago see, was I'm sorry. How long ago How long was this? Um, was it last year? It was, I think it was last year. It was last year, two years ago. No, it was last year. It was like uh, the beginning of last year in March. It was around March of last year. And, you know, like I said, if, if, if my thing is, if you knew that was going to be the case, why take us that far into the, into the loan before you say, okay, well, you won't be able to get it because of my debt, you know. Uh oh, you're I mean that in the beginning. Okay. Instead of having us to go through all that headache, and then at the very end, you say that, which you should have already known if we stay in Texas, that's the case, you know. Did so, he let them know about you? Did he let the people know about possibly your debts that you could possibly have, or he did? Y'all didn't go. No, for they 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 went in and checked my. They went in and checked my uh credit. They they pulled my credit so many times. I mean, I got like maybe four or five inquiries where they was pulling my credit. Okay. And they went in and saw where I had purchased my car. Um. At the like I said, that was last year. So I had purchased my car that year. Mm -hmm. So he was telling me to try to do some kind of thing where someone can like purchase, say they're going to purchase my car, and and then after, after after they, yes. And yeah. I was like, no, I'm not going to go through that. I just I can't. No, I'm not going to do that. My husband was like, no, but we going to leave that alone. We going to okay. leave. I, I, that's too much. After we don't went through all that headache, you know, we was like over it then, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like all this, and it's been what a year now, a year and a half yes. now. So now yes. it's time for you to start, and that's why you've been doing the letters for two months now, right? This is the second month. Yes, I have. I have been doing that, and like I said, um, you already got stuff deleted the first month. It wasn't everything yeah. you thought, but that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. That you're not even gonna get everything unless you're gonna do some illegal. You know, police, yeah. but don't ask. Yeah, like, I, that. You, that's good but, then. Yeah, like I don't have nothing major that's on. I mean, nothing major that's in on my credit except for you know the car that I used to have. 
that's showing closed on my account, but it's still showing a balance. So that's one of the big th- pulls I think that has, uh, I mean, thing that had a, has a lot of pull on my credit. Yeah, let me so, look at your reports because I have your reports here. So I'm, I'm going to look at your reports here and I'm going to go over a few things that I think that you should work on right now. But first, okay. let me ask you, how many letters do you have? Because usually like for my clients, I always have six rounds of letters. We know we send the letters for six months. Do you have enough letters to go six months? Um, I don't. Here's what I here's what I did. And I'm, uh, I have there was a ki- um, there was a kit. Mm-hmm. Um, that I got, I'm, I'm not for sure. Uh, I can't remember the website or wherever I got it from, but it, it gave me like the round of letters, you know, first, cause I sent my first round of letters and I waited and they did send me, um, you know, the information back to say what was deleted, what, and what remained. So, um, uh, then that's when I sent out my second letters to, um, uh, Ask them to, you know, verify who they who verify the their accounts the and everything. Yeah, the method yes. of verification. Yes, mm-hmm. I I said that, so I haven't received anything from them yet. So I'm just how waiting. Many, how many more but, letters do you think you have to go? Um, I think if they after this after the letter that I've already sent, if it comes back. I mean, if they delete those that I just did, um, then I'll be good because what if they I, don't? yes, I'll be done because it's, it's it's three major. Like I said, those are the three major things. One from that the Dico Neil third party one, and okay. then um, the regional one, and then the uh, the that one that's coast to coast that's only on one of my credit bureaus. It's only on one, and uh, my and it's and and but it's not reported on any of the other ones. So those okay. three are the main ones. Have you sent in a letter yet for your personal information too? Because like I see different names on here for you. you yes, I have did that. <laughs> I've done that, and they have. Uh, they did delete a lot of my addresses, old addresses or whatever, but they still. Uh, there was still some some names that was still on there. You know, like they took like my middle name and my last name first. Or it's just it's just, it's just some that I still have to get off. But I did send a personal info info. Well, actually, I didn't even send the letter. I just went on, um, which I know a lot of people say that's not good, but on uh, Credit Karma. Mm-hmm. And that, and I went in and did the deletions that way because they, you know, a lot of people said online. I do listen to a lot of credit people, you know, especially you because I like to, I like talking to you. And I was like, oh my god, where's my Rakita stuff at? I'm not, I'm not saying Rakita mm-hmm. keep coming through because I usually get a, a not, a, you know, notification you going online or, or going on or whatever. But I um. Those I haven't uh I hadn't sent another letter with, but I did I did I didn't send a letter with them. I just did those online. You know the best and way they, to and they pulled those. a lot of those off. Because, because I it, was a, it, it was a lot. The best way to remove those, and I will do that like today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my uh, that's, I'm sorry, that's my dog. Hush, go sleep. I'm sorry. Um, a little bit of you. Yeah. Well, the best way to remove personal information from your credit reports, and if I were you, I would do it today or tomorrow, is just to call them. Okay. And if you got to call them five times, call them five times, but get all of that deleted. Because I see a P. Is that your maiden name or is that your, because is that that P last name? Is that maiden? Oh, that's my, that's my marriage name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. so what about the M? Is that your maiden name? That's my that's my maiden name. More. Okay. Yeah, I didn't uh-huh. want to. I didn't want to say it because everybody's <laughs> going to see this. But okay. Okay, yeah. so that means that we need to get more off of there. Correct. Okay. Well, um, 
I don't because a lot of stuff is still in my maiden name. Yeah, I see. Even a call we scheduled. <laughs> yes, yes. And I still it's just me because I've been <laughs> I've been by myself for so long. So it's just that I you know, I've been married like for seven years. Okay. And and I still sometimes when we go out I still say I still say my maiden name. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, but yes, no, um, like a lot, uh, some of my, uh, like my bank accounts are still, they still have my maiden name on there. Okay. Well, so, let's, what about your ID? What's on your ID? It's, it's more. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, I haven't I'm, gotten that changed over yet. <laughs> majority of your debt, what address, not, you don't have to tell me the address, but Tell me what letter it starts with. What the address oh, my. you have majority of your debt. Does, is that what address what, would that be at? Oh, it, it's the one on uh, the the one that says it, that's L one four. Okay, I start with F. Okay, so okay. updated. Mm -hmm. Well, you you may need to change your address to something else because they got that as your main address. And like with that car and um, the car that you have and those other debts, you think that you got those debt when you was at F? No, when I was at C. You, do you see one on that oh, C? C? Okay, but that's only on Equifax. So okay. So, so do you have anything negative with this address that you have now? Your current address? Anything negative? Anything new that you got accounts with them that's negative? No. Okay, were well, you good with that then? But, yeah, because I don't. I all of all of mine is, is with them the C address. Okay, good, and that's only on Equifax. So this yes. is what I want you to do. I want you to call them. Um, I see TransUnion. They got all of your addresses deleted. Only only had that one F address, which is yes. good. Experience yeah. Equifax, you have to get all those other addresses removed. But like I said, call them and say, hey, I have some addresses on my credit reports that should not be on my credit report. I only have one address, and that's this F address. And they okay. should remove those for you. Okay, okay. I you will do that. Too, with your name, too, do the same thing. Say, hey, I have some P on there. My name is DM, and that's it. All the other addresses, I mean, all other names should be removed. And they should remove those names because that's how your negative accounts are tied to you. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. From that address. Because yeah. Experian, especially, you'll call Experian and you will say, hey, I have this address on my um, credit reports that shouldn't be on my credit report. They're going to say, uh -huh. well, you got an account tied to it. And you're going to say, well, that shouldn't be my account either. <laughs> you uh, know, that may be that uh, negative account. They will refuse to remove that address because if they remove that address, it's going to be easy to get that account deleted. But you want to you want to definitely keep trying. Have you ever heard of the CFPB? Oh, uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, no. that's the place where you can send in complaints. So say if they don't want to remove it, use uh -huh. the complaint saying, hey, I have some addresses on my credit reports that's not my credit reports. Those addresses will be removed in about 15 days that way, too. Oh, okay. But you need well, to get those removed. That's mandatory. Okay. Because I have, um, I'm writing those down to call them because I'm going to call them first thing tomorrow. Well, First thing in the morning, I'm going to call both and tell, let them know about, you know, my, those, those personal, that personal information, my names and my addresses. Okay. And, um, because I didn't know that that's something I'm glad, I, I'm glad you told me that because that's something I didn't know. That's um, major. That's like the most important thing. That's why a lot of clients that's inside of my exclusive membership, I send out free letters for them. So we'll send out every round. For, for six months, seven months, we'll send out letters. But if they don't send me an updated copy of their um, ID and their social security card or their ID and their address, uh -huh. and when I try to remove that personal information, which is the most important part, most important part, they're not going to remove it without that verification. And a lot of people won't see deletions like they want to see deletions because those addresses are still there. They are verifying it like, hey, this is your address. This is your name. This is your social and date of birth. They're not going to try to remove it. 
Oh, so you okay. can even remove that address to be like, hey, I don't know who, because so, as soon as you get that address removed, it's like, hey, I stay on F, I don't stay on C. They'll clearly see that and they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, that must be someone else trying to use your identity at a different address and they'll make it easier for you to get stuff removed. Well, I, I want to tell you that I am going to get into your exclusive membership. Um, I have been talking to, I think, I think his name stole with an I or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I and he told me that he sends his best regards when I talked to him, and he was like, "Yeah, you get a chance to talk to Rakita. You're gonna be on. You're gonna have your little. You're gonna have your few minutes of fame." <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? Oh my gosh, he's so funny. <laughs> I said, yeah, I consider it fame because, yes, I will be talking to her. Yeah, everybody's going to see this. I'm going to definitely post this so everybody can see it. Well, that's good. That's good. That's yeah, so now we know we had to remove that personal information. Are you still there? Uh-oh, looks like she may have got a little choppy. Uh oh, you guys, I think she's frozen. <laughs> Let me look a little bit over her credit reports. Wow. Maybe she has to fix her internet or something. So she do have the Navy Fed, which is really good. So if you guys signed up for Navy Fed, the secure credit card, just give it a little time because it is going to upgrade. And when it upgrades, it should go from a $200 limit to a $2,000 limit. Uh oh, it looks like she may. Oh, she hopped out of the live. Okay. Well, hopefully she'll join the link again and she'll know how to come back in. But let me look over her credit reports. But don't forget with Navy Fed, when you sign up for their $200 credit card, their $200 secure credit card in six months, it should go from a $200 credit card to a $2,000 credit card. And then make sure you keep the balance low on these credit cards. Like even if it's a secure credit card, so that $200 credit card, you really should not spend more than $10 on it. Like seriously. And if you do spend more than $10 on it, make sure you pay it off right away before it actually reports to the credit bureau. Because if you're not paying it off right away, then you're going to see that your, your credit score is going to drop and you're not going to get like the best credit score that you can get or you're not going to have the best credit score that you can have and then she also have a kickoff account you guys i told you about the kickoff account the kickoff account really helped a lot of people like when i first signed up for a kickoff account my credit score went up 30 some points so i always tell people definitely sign up for the kickoff account because they're going to report to they're not going to report to transunion but they're going to report to experian and they're going to report to equifax and when they report to those two companies it's going to really boost your credit score up now they used to have it where you'll be able to sign up for free and then they'll report to the credit bureaus and you're going to act like you're going to pay a dollar they like loan you twelve dollars and every month you have to pay a dollar and the twelve dollars going to stay in your account but they no longer have that account that's more like an installment account now they have a revolving account where you have to buy an ebook from them and they have ebooks as low as ten dollars so you'll buy an ebook for them and then when you buy an ebook they're going to report a five hundred dollar credit card onto your credit report so that's really good and i do see where she was removing accounts because i can see um accounts coming off her credit reports which is really good uh oh i think that's her there hey are you there yeah i'm fine you know i'm, I'm gonna tell you what happened my phone died <laughs> oh i figured i really thought that i was like well it was her internet but then i was like no nah. Oh my God, I was so embarrassed. I was like, I'm not going to ever get her back. But are you on there with someone else now? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just basically, I told them that you did get your, um, you have a kickoff account. So I was explaining what kickoff was about. So okay. we're perfect. I'm still reviewing some of your credit reports here now. And I see, I see that there is gaps. So when I say gaps, I can see where accounts were deleted. Yes. So that's good. So yes, they um, like I said, I um, some of them just they just fell off. I, I don't I, I mean they came off, but the ones that um, just recently got deleted, uh, I think uh, 
they I did send some letters in for them and they did delete them. So okay. that was What's good. What's the biggest account that you like? I really need that removed. The one with the regional. Oh, the regional. Okay, I uh -huh. can see that. Let's talk about that account here now. So okay. When it comes out to sending out letters, are you just putting the name of the account and sending the letters, or are you typing things with the letter? Well, when I send out the letter, um, there is, I have a, um, like a template mm -hmm. uh, that um, it has, um, I wish I could show you what it is, but I don't have a copy do of it you, now. Do you type an explanation in there at all? Or are you just plugging in like the name of the account, your name, address, social security number? I, I put in the account, the name, the account number um and everything and i um put um uh, like i don't forget what i put on there but i was basically saying you know that um you know just just i no longer i mean this account is no longer i mean this is not my account or it okay. was something like that, that. Not mine. okay yes yes and i think um, we should go a different route with that though Cause like when I look at this account, right? When I look at it, um, I wish I can share it, but I don't. Let me share it so that I don't want your personal information to be shown. I just want to show the details of the account. Okay. So let because, me see. Because right. then that way you can see what I see. Because that's like the big. I think that's one of the big things that's really just bringing. I, I, I mean, I would think because of the amount of the account that would just really have a big burden on my uh, on my report, on my credit report. Yeah, I think that's probably stopping you from getting that house too. Because if you just get this down, like if I were you, I would get this account, I would get this off, right? Work mm -hmm. on the other accounts too, but this is that account that's going to stop you, right? Get this account right. off, remove your personal information, and then just pay down your credit cards that you have right now you will right. be where you need to be credit score wise, credit um, score wise. And then also too, you'll be where you need to be in regards to your debts, because this is a huge debt. So yeah. let me see if I can add this onto the screen. Okay. Because let me, let me tell you this too. I am added on like, I think a couple of the cards there, I was added on as an authorized user for uh, oh, my yeah, husband. Yeah. I seen that and have yeah. have them put on that credit card that they have too, because I don't like the okay. balance. Like, like they we gotta pay the credit card now. <laughs> Let's yeah. pay it down a little bit because that's gonna help really boost your credit score. Like even if you was to pay down those cards, I guarantee you're gonna get like twenty to twenty five points just from that because to me the balance is just too high. Okay, okay, yeah, because it's it's I was like okay, <laughs> I mean if I'm gonna be an authorized. Hold on a second. Uh, yes, I see it now. Okay, perfect. So look, um, look right here. When it comes down to disputing your accounts, you can just put not mines, you know, unverifiable. Mm -hmm. You can do that. But if you really want this account removed fast, you need to figure out what's wrong with the account. So the first thing I want to show you is this right here, this high credit. Can you see the high credit right here? Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to, let me see. Hold on a second. I'm trying to make it bigger. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. I see it bigger now. Let me get it bigger. Okay. I see it. Yes. You see that high credit right there? Yes. This credit bureau right here has that your high credit, the most you ever owed on the account is 18000 The other two are saying 19000 That means that this account most likely got inaccurate information. So yes. it should be removed just because the high credit is inaccurate. Right. Got it. I see what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, and then looking like your last day of activity, your last day of activity is huge. They got three different dates because your credit report is supposed to be 100 percent complete and 100 percent accurate. So you can see right here it's not 100 percent accurate because you got the wrong dates on here. You got the wrong right. um, balance on here. So those are just the high the high um, limit is wrong on here. So those two things right there. And then the last day of payment, you can see, too. It's wrong on this credit bureau. Yes. And I will take these comments off too. 
Okay. That's to remove the comments from your reports. And let's go down okay. a little bit because this is the biggest part. When you want to get an account removed, you can't find anything wrong with it. Look at the payment history. So tra TransUnion, they don't have any payment history at all. Oh, so on your okay. letter, you would say, hey, TransUnion, to your letter, TransUnion, say, hey, the account has incomplete data. There is no payment history from June 2021 to July 2019. And according to that, you should have that already in your letter. According to FCRA, any account that has incomplete data should be removed from the credit reports. Right. So okay. you see that is, is nothing there at all. And look at Equifax. They even worse. They have that you're okay. That means you paying on time. Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. I see that. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> and they have incomplete data too for like March um, 2021. Can you see that there? Yeah. And yeah. then again, incomplete data here. They got to say something. Like, am I late? Not late? Say something. Oh, oh my God. I charge didn't it. even notice that. But I knew that I knew that was one thing that uh, I had read about too to make sure that everything is accurate across the board. So yes. I see this now. Now I now that's what that means. I see now. Yeah, and you go through all oh. of your accounts just like that. So it's something called an analyzer that we always give out to all our clients. I already have one for you, so I'm gonna send that to you so you can have okay. that as your guide. Okay. You okay. That was my God. It sure was really. <laughs> I have never, I mean, that. Uh, hmm. But listen here, though, when you get this analyzer, it's going to be red. So anything that's red, that's what's wrong. So you don't have to think okay. like how you just did looking and stuff. Everything already read like, hey, this is wrong. That's wrong. So you just write that on your letter. Hey, a complete account number, inaccurate. Um, payment history, whatever it, whatever is wrong. So I'm going to email that to you. But the email you email address you gave me, I couldn't send anything to you. So we got to double check that email address that you sent me, and we'll do that once we okay. get off of this call. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just turning yes, my phone off. Can you see me? Real <laughs> okay. can I can still see you. I can still see okay. you. I'm just turning my phone like all kind of ways, trying to get a good big picture. So I'm thinking you can't see me, but I okay, I see you though. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You look great. You look great. So I think that if you get that account removed, or if you really start tackling that account, and that's a big account, they're not going to try to remove that account, even if they're wrong. So that's going to okay. be an account where you're going to have to look into sending in complaints with like the Better Business Bureau and the CFPB. You have to learn that. Start learning okay. that and send a letter to that company threatening them too. Do you have a letter you can send to the company? No, I don't have a letter that I can send to the company. You would have I all that in exclusive membership. <laughs> well, in exclusive I membership, it. you have I a letter you can send to that company. I know. That's why I'm you trying. I said I am. And even a I'm repossession you can send in. Yeah, I'm going to get into, I'm going to get one of your, um, I'm going to get it to that uh, exclusive. I Like I said, I have been talking to, uh, I cannot still, can mm -hmm. I pronounce his name? Mm -hmm. Stole the eye, mm -hmm. but I've been talking to him. And mm -hmm. uh, I, he the one that told me about the different ways to get into it. If I could do monthly or else I could do just one oh, yes, you for the lifetime. Yeah, so I I'm like I I would prefer the lifetime. I just have to uh you know get it set up and everything. Yeah, but, but right now uh, you have your letters. You just you just need a letter to go to the creditor, and you need to just call for those addresses. Because if you're willing to okay, send it, learn it right now. Because you know at least you know it. I would rather you know it. Learn yeah. it right now if you need to, and you'll be okay, fine. Okay. 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 And that's going to help you a lot because then you'll just put that onto the letters you already have and then okay. start learning about complaints because complaints going to help you a lot. It's going to help you a lot. Because so on those other ones that I had, uh, that, that also, they would also do, they would also analyze those also. Oh, the like whole, the your whole credit report is analyzed already. Okay. 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 I got it. Your whole credit okay. report. 
Let me actually pull it up for you really quickly while we're here, because that'd be really cool okay. for other people to see too, what that will even okay. look like. I'm gonna pull up that account in particular so you can see. Okay. And then the O'Neills too, like, let me um show one of those for you too. That way you can see what that looks like. Cause it's, yeah, it's quite cause that, I, I know it. And it's just like, okay. I don't want to show your account number, but your account number, that, that credit report that's already on, that's all the way on the right, that's TransUnion. TransUnion got a totally different account number for you, too, for that account. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me zoom in some, and then I'll share my screen again. Okay. Okay, let me see. I'm going to add it on now because I have it. Let me, let me add that screen on. Okay, perfect. There we go. Can you see the highlights? Okay, hold on a second. It's coming up. Okay. Oh, yes. I see it. I see them now. Yes. Yeah. So that, those would be the highlights. They're telling you everything that's wrong. Can you see it clearly? Uh -huh. I yeah. sure can. Yep. Oh, so all your God. payment history, all your payment history. And then two, it's a different date right here compared to these two dates. All three of them dates are different. All the comments, they need to get deleted because all of them different. The last date that they reported are all different. Your high credit is different. So you can just literally put on your letter, hey, the day open is inaccurate. And that's for um, TransUnion. So you can oh, put okay. the day open is inaccurate. Yeah. And then the, on your other letter, I'm not sure who this is. I don't want to go up too far. Your account number is there. But okay. we'll say that the high credit is inaccurate. But just look for these red marks. And can you look on the left side of my screen, all these red marks for your other accounts? <laughs> yes, I sure can. I see the yes. I see those. Oh, my God. Okay. So that's going to help you out a lot because when you start doing factual disputing, that's what that's called, you're going to get so far you're going to get so far with getting accounts removed. And that's what we do too. Like we send out letters for our schools and members for free. We do the factual yeah. disputes for them. But let me show you one of these O'Neill accounts too, because you really, it, it's a factoring company. Well, this look like this is one of the original companies, but let me show you how inaccurate this is <laughs> so that you can see that it's going to be easy to get it removed as soon as you just learn this one thing, how to write letters and put this in there. As soon as you learn this, like, um, look at the account type. This one says it's an unsecured loan, and then this one says it's a collection. <laughs> Your monthly payment. This one say you don't have a monthly payment. This one say you owe seventy-seven dollars a month. This one says you have a term of twelve months. This one say you don't have any terms at all because it's a collection. And then the payment status, they saying it's a collection or charge off over here. And this one is a collection, but they send you 120 days late. You can't be a, late at on collections. <laughs> There's no such thing. Like you don't have a contract with them. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes. Mm -hmm. let's go down a little bit more. Look at this. Look at your payment history. A collection, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to have any payment history at all because it's a collection. Wow. Yep. So these dates are all different. It's these simple things. These simple things, you as soon as you start putting plugging this into the letter that you already have, you'll see your accounts yes. start flying off. Instead of saying this account, not mine, you got to start saying, hey, you're wrong. And now I have the right to sue you. Oh, and my I think God. you can have that in your um read your letter some. I'm pretty sure you got that type of language in your letters. You can just add and plug in, hey. The last data activity is inaccurate on this account. TransUnion is saying this. Equifax is saying this. Delete this account now. Like, as simple as that. Okay. Yeah, pretty um, simple as that. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's what oh, I've learned a lot in this session. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. But I think that you're not that far from getting your house, like, especially with your credit score. Like I said, too, you'll have the scores that you need for the, your loan. 
you'll have that just by paying down your credit card some. And it's not a high balance. It's just that I love to say don't go more than 5%. Right, That's right, it. right. So you, you just pay them down some, you'll be fine. And as soon as that Navy Fed graduate next month, it better graduate next month, right? Yeah, it's going to go from a $200 limit to a $2,000 limit, and that's going to help you out a lot. Okay. That's I, yeah, I was. that's what I was trying. I was trying to do that, and I was like, okay, no, I have to just zoom in and just start working on my credit to get all this stuff taken off. And you've been so, doing good. I see a lot of gaps. It's like, okay, no accounts are here, but it's only one left here. And that's yeah. addresses, though. I'm telling you, get them address removed. You're going to start seeing them come off even more. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Rakita, I appreciate it. Girl, I thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You want to I want to follow up with you. So I want you to come back and tell us, like, what happened? What's okay. going on? And. Okay. Too, don't forget, I have my real estate brokerage in Florida and I have connections in Texas. So I can definitely help you get with somebody I know is going to close the loan. You don't okay. be just thinking you're going to get the house. You don't get the house. I can help you get connected that way. So we can definitely follow up on those. And if you have any questions, just just call us or text us. Israel, he'll be able to help you out. Yeah, he, he's been a good. He's been a great help. He's um, he's just been talking good like if it's anything she can help you we can get it done we can get it done i'm like i know that i've been following her for the longest i mean <laughs> girl. but yeah I, eventually yeah but, but i'm happy you got some knowledge from it i appreciate you coming on also yes well i like i said i'm gonna get into uh i'm gonna do those letters but then also um i, I, I i'm still trying to i'm gonna get into your your uh membership. give it a month though give it a month though because you already got okay. letters out it's no point in you joining right now unless you okay. want the letters okay. or you know you okay. kind of got that basic knowledge my yes. date open is inaccurate transunion is saying this experience is saying that if you just know that and put that on the letters you already have you'll right. be fine come when you like dude these accounts are not coming off what is going on that's when you're like, I need to join. I need to figure out what I need to do. And don't okay. forget, you have it too, where you can join for just a dollar to start too. So that way you can get in there, get some letters and just get started. Like just get started. But you already got everything started. Now, before I let you go, I need to hear your to-do list. I need to make sure that you know what you're supposed to be doing. So give me a rundown <laughs> on everything I told you you need to do. Okay. Uh, first of all, I need, as far as my personal information, I need to call Experian, uh, need to call the bureaus basically and just give them my uh, the do that the ones that are actually supposed to be there and the ones that are not. I say, uh, you know, yeah. to, to delete those old addresses or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that's supposed to be on there is just my my name. And like I said, your name. yes, the you got one with them, just one. <laughs> 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 and um, my address and, and, and one address. One and, address, the F one. And um, also with the letters for um, the reach well, for my accounts to send um, send those in stating, you know, what's inaccurate or whatever. Make sure that I know, you know, notate what's inaccurate on there or that it's being inaccurate and send one of those type verification letters in for those. Okay. Yep. I don't and know if I missed anything. Did I miss anything? <laughs> I want you to, um, your credit cards. Yes. Oh, get those down to 5%. At least 5%. Least 5 under. Okay. Or if okay, you use them, just pay them off right away. That's it. Just, okay. just pay them off right away if you were to use them because you're going to use them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just make sure you pay them off right away. And then okay. one more thing. Uh, I really want you to send a letter directly to that repo company. Oh, okay. Yes. I need to get they that. Don't right. hardball. We ain't got that much time. Yes. Um, I got to get their main num their main address to send that letter to. I got to find that because I don't I, I got to go and look at my files for those. And um you got identity IQ now and you signed up for just a dollar too, right? Right, right. Perfect. Identity yeah. IQ got the addresses at the bottom. Good. 
The address I, is in their phone number. Yep. Good that I could go ahead and write them a send them a letter. Okay, when I do that, when I go ahead and send them that letter, basically, what would I, what would basically would I put in there? Just that the account is inaccurate or what, what, what you would I do? Everything that's wrong, you'll list everything. Like, you know, usually when you send a letter to the credit bureau, you'll put, because I tell people to send it, you, it's going to take about six, seven months to send in letters. Put one thing on each letter, like the, the account balance is wrong on this one letter. The date open is wrong on this one letter. But when you send a letter to the um, the regional, you want to put everything. Yeah. Hey, the account number is wrong. This is wrong. That's wrong. Like type a whole full thing out. Like even okay. personally me, I got a $16,000 debt removed by doing that. You have to send it directly to the company. Okay. Okay. I will do that. I will do that. And send it certified. Yes, I will. I, I, especially that. Yes, I will. I will send it certified. Yeah. So send okay. me your email address. I'll give you a sample of what you can send in just to make it easy. Just plug it in there, but plug into everything that's wrong. Okay. Plug them okay. Into, that way they can see it and send it certified. You have to send it certified. Okay. When I send my email address, do I just send it um, to the number, I mean, to the uh, you can text it to me. The number I sent you the link, the link okay. on for the podcast, okay. yeah, just sit okay. right there. Yep, and then okay. I'll go ahead and I'll email you your analyzer, I'll email your credit reports too, just to make sure you have them. Just in case you can't find okay. IQ, you can still have them, and then I'll send you a copy of the repo letter you can send in. Okay, I sure will. Oh my God. Right, well, I'm going to follow up with you. Make sure you do what you need to do now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do okay, it because I, 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 this is something that I cannot, you know, slow around on. I need to go ahead and get it done. Yeah, and I don't think it's that your credit is not that bad at all. It's just that. And those O'Neills. Yes. Him, just this Neil, really. So, yeah, go ahead and handle it. And then we want to see you back and we want to hear when you in the process of you know, getting your mortgage again, and now you can be on it and not scared, and you know, you yeah, because I want you know, I, I, I've always wanted that um, confidence of when I go and apply for something or whatever. I don't want to always have that thing, oh, I'm not going to get uh, I'm not going to get it because I'm going to get it. Like, yeah, you know, know because I'm scared yeah. I'm getting, it's going to be declined or whatever. You know, I'm like, oh man, this is not working, but. Yeah, but I will. I will. I'll send you my. I'll send you my email address also. All righty, perfect. Thank you. So I'll make sure I send that to you right after this podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh no problem. You have a good day. All right, you too. Bye bye. Right. Bye It was so nice talking to her, and I think that you guys, if she really followed those steps, she will be able to get her house. She will be able to get the credit cards that she wants. And then her Navy Fed will be upgrading to a $2,000 credit card, which means she's building a relationship with Navy Federal Credit Union. And after she built that relationship and she actually get that regional account off of her repo off her credit report, oh my gosh, you guys, Navy Fed will not have a problem at all giving her a $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 credit card. So thank you so much, Doris, for coming on to my podcast today. If this is your first time watching any of my videos, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys look down in the description too because I have a link. If you want to come onto my podcast, it's free. I'll look over your credit reports with you. We can do this together. We can formulate a plan on what you got to do to actually raise your credit score. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.